Hello, welcome to this DCS FA18C tutorial. In this video, I will cover the use of the ACLS or Automatic Carrier Landing System. So to begin, we'll set up our plane for carrier landing like we would any other. I'm going to go to my briefing, scroll down, and we'll go for the Lincoln TACAN 72 ILS12. And the new thing is the link for frequency, which in this case is 340. We'll hit data link to enter the link for frequency. Make sure you see this UFC screen. If you don't, click data link again, and it'll toggle between them. We'll turn it on if it's not already on. Three, four, zero, enter. Now that that's all set up, let's bring our HSI up on the left-hand page in addition to the bottom. Throw on our PACAN and ILS buttons. On the lower left, you'll see a new option, ACL. This is for automatic carrier landing. We have to do this on our left-hand display. We'll hit ACL, and this opens a brand new window. Here in the upper right, we'll see test. This will change to ACL1 after the plane has tested the data link frequency we have entered, and everything is OK. If you see a fail message here, that means your frequency is incorrect, or something is wrong, and you need to recheck your work. We'll circle back up. Give me some time to talk. After all that is done, we can go ahead and radio the carrier that we wish to land on, in this case, the Lincoln. So I'll put in my course line, same as you would a normal carrier. All right, now at this point, you want to get yourself down to 1,250 feet and about 150 knots. And I'm going to get in line and get on the line as if I was doing a normal carrier landing. You don't have to be precisely on 1,250, but you should be as close as you can get. All right, I'm approaching the line. I'm going to reduce my scale, make things easier to see. And I'm gonna keep my speed about 160 at this point. Once I get on the line, I'll reduce it to about 150 and then prep for the landing. Right, I'm getting close to the line. We'll go ahead and turn into it. Keeping my altitude about where I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce my speed. I got a little fast. And once we are on the line and we're pointed towards the carrier, we are going to radio that we are established. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm looking good on the line. 
We're close enough. Established. Let's make sure you keep an eye on your altitude. You don't want to crash. So I'll get up a little bit. Reduce my speed. All right, at this point, we're going to see data flashing in the HUD. That's relaying information on our ACL page. We can ignore that for the most part. We just want to make sure we're at 1,250 feet. Then I'm going to dirty up and get my speed down to about 150. Hook down, gear down, flaps down. Now that my speed is about 150, I'm going to press T on my keyboard to engage automatic uh, throttle control after the gear is down. And I'm going to say commencing. And then always glance back down and make sure you're following the line. You can also follow the ILS symbology as you would normally. It'll seem a bit bouncy until you get used to holding it. But just get your altitude about 1250 and then hold it. Now that we've they finished talking after we commenced, we're going to radio in and say platform. They're giving us radio calls, and now we're just going to cruise and follow the line like we had a normal landing until we hit about six miles, and then they'll say they have an ACLS lock on. So at this point, my hands off the throttle, auto throttle control is keeping me going where I need to be. I'm just holding her right about 1,250. Uh, I'm a little low, but you can be about 100 feet below or above. Doesn't matter. All right, final radar contact at eight miles. Data is flashing again. It means it's updating all of the information on our plane. And then the magic will start to happen at the six mile and the five mile mark. We're just holding the line until then. Two minor corrections. I'll get my altitude up a little bit to get as close to the 1250 as I can. Just nice and easy. You want to give it very, very minor um, adjustments if you're using auto throttle control during your landing. More than that will cause the throttle to jump back and forth dramatically and make you bounce up and down and all around. All right, I'm about 1250, 1240 here. So I'm going to hold it. We're at six miles. got the ACLS lock-on call and now after we have the ACS lock-on call we'll see ACL ready mode one that means once we hit five miles from the carrier we're able to put on our automatic carrier landing to do that I'll come down to the autopilot page and I'm gonna make sure I'm as close to the line as I can be don't worry about the vertical as long as you're at 1,250. We're just worried about the vertical. All right, I'm within five miles. I'm just gonna hit the coupled button. At this point, I'm completely hands off the stick and throttle. I'll do a final check. My hook is down, anti-skid off. Hook bypass and carrier, flaps down, gear down, and I'm all set. At this point, the plane's going to fly her in for us. You were flying this manually, and you still had your ACLS symbology. You'll see this little circle floating around, that's your fly cue. So if you put your velocity vector on that circle, you'll be flying in the appropriate direction. So you'll see as we come in, they line up. That's essentially what the plane is doing. It's using that small circle as a guide.
See the planes bouncing around a lot. We have quite a lot of wind turbulence and rain and storms here. So it's just showing the power of the system being able to compensate for all of that and keep you right on the ILS lines and come in for a good landing every time. Just remember, you want to come in at 1,250 feet and when you're about 150 knots, 30 up. And then after your gear is down, you can engage your auto throttle control. From there, you fly doing the radio calls as shown. And when you're within five miles, you engage your coupled autopilot and it'll fly you in. See how low the visibility is here? And we're down. Easy peasy. That covers everything for the automated carrier landing system. Uh, thanks for watching.